ama piano ama piano you need to connect before you collect make time for your formation I'm strong like foundation there's uh, some amazing music coming through there from a Ghanaian Afrobeat artist. I don't want to say a government name. The boy, the boy Laska. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying, you know, let me respect, let me put some respect on you. I'm not going to say a government name. Yeah. But you traveled all the way here. You're here in the morning. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Thank you for gracing us with some amazing music. Yeah. Um, tell me about your music journey. You know, when did all of this start? Okay. So first of all, I'll say thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. The name is Dope Boy Alaska. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the journey started, um, I'll say, in SA, mm -hmm. South Africa. But, you know, back home, mm -hmm. I've been in the industry for, for some time. Mm -hmm. You know, being a choreographer, a dancer, mm -hmm. and then switched to a manager. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, passion called. So we're here, here doing Afro dance or Afro beat, mm -hmm. representing the motherland is here. And you've been doing this, I mean, uh, for you to tell me that you've already, um, you know, branched off into choreography as well. I mean, I think that's so interesting. Um, and the fact that the passion found you, but when did it find you? You know, what was that moment for you mm. where you felt like, okay, no, this is what I need to do? 2017, mm. when I wanted to do music for real, yeah, 2017. And since then, it's been amazing, like, being, uh, I'm based in Cape Town, you know, so mm, mm, mm. always being home, trying to pull up you know new materials out there mm -hmm. you know polishing the the, 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 the talent and the, the thing so far has been good and thank god we're here mm -hmm. yeah. and how's that been for you being keta um it's good for 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 work you know mm -hmm. trying to have a sound space to mm -hmm. to nature your talent i think it's been good mm -hmm. so now we're here in joe too since this is a hub you know mm -hmm. the, the, the the city of gold we out mm -hmm. here now trying to pull the work out so it's been good over the years mm -hmm. now we're here to show the world what we can we've done mm -hmm. yeah. so tell me about how culture has played a role in your career mm -hmm. um especially because you're a Canadian afrobeat artist based in cape town i think yeah. that is just so cool yeah. um you know tell me about how you also stay true to your sound you know mm -hmm. you don't want to commercialize too much because i think sometimes you know artists get caught up in that you know wanting yeah. to push sales but now you also lose your, yourself yeah um in a way yeah and i'll say from from the grassroots it's been like that you know we you have to stay true to yourself and i don't lose touch or connection with my people back home so even though i'm here in south africa i'm always i'm always at home always online trying to update myself and i do go back home mm -hmm. once in a while you know get a vibe you know fuse in the ghanaian mm -hmm. ghanaian culture to the south african because south africa is so blessed and you know have so so much talent mm -hmm. out here you know and i think the best way we can also um be heard is being original staying true to ourselves mm -hmm. and then blending it with the south african you know feel so mm -hmm. with, the, with the song you heard now connect you can you we're trying to do the ama piano, mm -hmm. but we, we call it Afro piano. Oh, you know, yeah. I love it when you genres <laughs> like start to pop up. Yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. And must shout to to ama piano South Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, so spiritual, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's a true definition of me. Also staying true to myself, mm -hmm. you know. So so I've been. I think culture culture role has been significant. I'll say, mm -hmm. and we we we. We're keeping it locked. Yeah. <laughs> so do you generally come from a musical family? I mean, for someone to say that music is a spiritual thing, I yeah. know that your, yeah. your, your, your music is not just about you wanting to do music. Yeah. You come from, um, you know, a family that is deeply rooted in the arts. Yeah. Well, okay, my case, I wouldn't say that. I was, yeah, we, my mom, my mm -hmm. mom used to be part of the choir. Mm -hmm. And she, she, she was a dancer too. And I also had that I used to dance, one of the best Afro I'm a, a Zunto dancers that emerged from Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I'll say my mom, my dad, I don't know. <laughs> my mom, dad can't sing to save his life. <laughs> yeah, so it's, I think my mom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, uh, we look at uh, the industry, um, Ghana versus SA, yeah. and see the differences between the two. It is 8.40.
41 Central African time. Welcome back to it. We are sitting with a dope boy, Laska. Thank you for taking the time to come and see us. Um, we were just you. saying, um, you know, off air, the fact that you have been here for how many weeks? Are three? Yeah, That's almost a month. Almost three weeks. Listen! <laughs> <laughs> three weeks is a long time to cause havoc and joking. I'll tell yeah, you that. For real, I noticed. So what are some of the differences that you've picked up, um, you know, coming from uh, Ghana as well and um, SA? What are some of the differences, especially in the music industry? Um, most importantly, I, I think the structure. Mm. The structure is well placed here, mm -hmm. you know, where you actually see your revenue, where you, you know South Africa plays majority of their music, you know, trying to promote, protect their own people, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm from Ghana. I can't say much about much about our country, but I, I, I think that's something we have to learn. You know, mm. yeah, and slowly we're also picking up. But South Africa is doing very well with that. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they support a lot. Even with with uh, um, other nationals, when you come in, the kind of support you they give you, mm. you can tell oh, this is an African trying to push Africa. Sure. So so it's it's, it's amazing. I really enjoy this feedback because, you know, I always get nervous about um, people trying to find themselves and find their careers um, in Joburg specifically in South Africa because it's, it's quite a jungle, yeah. if we're being very honest. Um, you know, it, it, a lot happens here. And I mean, already some South Africans get swallowed by the craze. Um, so how much more are you coming into the city of gold? And mm -hmm. I think because we've been in it for such a long time, mm -hmm. maybe we take advantage of it. You know, for yeah. us, we're just used to this fast-paced life. Yeah. Um, you know, for you, have you gotten used to it? I mean, I know you're based in Cape Town, but mm -hmm. now you've gotten a sense of how Cape Town is versus Joburg, which are also two very different, um, you know, places. Yeah. How has that um, experience been like for you, the transitions? I'll, I'll, I'll say Joburg is similar to Accra. I, is a, a bit similar to a crowd, you know. So, and I've been in the in the industry for quite some time, you know, mm. from um, twenty ten till now. So, it's not really new to me, you know, to be carried away. You know, the 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 vision, the main purpose is to 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 hit gold. So, we, I'm not sure we'll be caught up in certain certain things. You know, we're very focused. Can you see my manager out here? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't play at all. So at all. Yeah. So I think it's basically that. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk about your genre, dancehall, yeah. Afrobeat. Yeah. Um, you know, I think whenever someone steps into the music industry, you wanna, you know, do what's already happening so that you yeah. don't um sort of lose sales, you don't lose streams. Yeah. How has the reception been like for you? Mm. Um, you know, stepping into dancehall and Afrobeat. You know, are yeah. you seeing a growth in support? Yeah. Um, you know, what 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 is it like for you in that um genre? Yeah, it, it's a big genre. It's a it's a very big one because mm -hmm. we, we don't focus only on Africa. You know, we, we look at the Caribbean, we look at the UK. You know, so it's we cut across, and I think it's it's good, and it also makes me stay original. You know, Ghana, Jamaicans originated from Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know, from the Shanti Kingdom. So mm -hmm. it's it still defines me. And mm -hmm. once you stay true to your roots. And you own it, you own it. Now you can take it out there, and then people can also accept you. So for some time, you know, growing it, making sure we we get accepted in the in our route, mm -hmm. it's been good. It's been good, and you know, like I said, the Caribbean, the UKs, in the states, and everywhere, it cuts across everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I'll say the feedback is it's 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 positive. Mm. Yeah. And now that we are having, what did you say? It's Afro piano. <laughs> Afro piano. Afro <laughs> piano. I'm gonna see like more music. Um, you know, spanning into, um, you know, that genre. Yeah. Um, I think also what's nice is that you're able to create the different opportunities for yourself. You know, yeah. um, and that's I I feel is really the peak of of you know creativity. The fact that you're not following what people are doing anymore. You're really just doing and you're sticking to your lane. You right. know what I mean? Right. Um, you know, are you going to be doing more of that or are you going to stick to your dance hall? Are you going to venture off, um, you know, mm. into different genres? Yeah. What is your, so, your career, you know, mind map look yeah. like? So I, I think for myself, I'll, I'll say I'm an Afro dance hall, Afro beat, pop artist, you know, mm -hmm. but I just released an album, 17 song album wow. titled Way Back. And you know, looking at the journey, we decided to put every every genre that is that is like active right now on it. Mm -hmm. You know, 
because music is dynamic is you can you can just do it once you know so um i have a that's why i put up my piano over there i have two on my piano mm -hmm. i have um hip-hop mm -hmm. i have afro dance or afro beat and highlight music mm -hmm. highlight music is the originator of afro beat oh, you know wow. so you have your strings uh cut cut <laughs> cut you know mm -hmm. so it's we, we try to compile everything and give it out there so maybe going on we will just stick to our original you know stuff mm -hmm. if any anybody comes up with a feature already they know what we can do so and who's on your feature wish list um, we've worked with a lot of people, yeah. so you never know who's listening. Yeah. You never know yeah. um, who wants to actually, you yeah. know, work no, with I, 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 I've met uh, uh, um, my producer before. Oh, wow. Um, I, would, I would definitely love to work with him. Cavs are the small. And um, what's his name? I like this one. You got my eyes Hey, you got my eyes Got you. Got yeah. you. Yeah. So, so well, we, and we, the good thing is we are open. Yeah. We're open yeah. to. A, um, anybody so you're looking up to and what's the name um blackie oh yeah i oh i see that yeah, yeah. i see that I, i've heard he is quite such an amazing person to just work with very free very yeah. i really yeah. i really i yeah. can see that yeah <laughs> it would be, little, it would be that. nice to have a collab with him mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. probably now that we enjoy it, maybe we you know, might push push for that how long are you here for you then they find you now, we leave it on Monday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we leave it on Monday, but we will be, we'll be back. Of course. Yeah, we'll be back course. in probably two weeks from now. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, amazing, man. Yeah. And, you know, what can we expect from this year? You know, it's it's already March. We're about uh, three quarters done um, with the year, but you're already dropping albums. You're already releasing new songs. I think mm. you're giving yourself a really great head start. What are, you know, some of the things that we can expect from you? Yeah. Um, for now, uh, I had I, I did a couple of uh, features here in uh, Jobex so far mm -hmm. with uh, Jay Z record. Um, so it's on my name, so with some of his artists. Mm -hmm. So during the course of the year, we might drop some of the singles and videos. And the album is out, so I ask people to also stream. It's titled Way Back. Mm -hmm. The name is Dope Boy Laska. D O U P B O Y L A S K. Mm -hmm. And there's a 17 songs on there. Mm -hmm. Probably what you'll be seeing from us now is videos visuals you know mm. to 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 promote the album until maybe the mid of the year mm. where we start releasing new materials you mm. know here and then yeah now amazing stuff man and the socials where can people follow you yeah. where can we support you yeah so it's, it's simple it's dope boy laska dope d-o-u-p b-o-y l-a-s-k-a mm. all in one one word you know all on, on all social so make sure you follow me i can follow you back and then or will you <laughs> <laughs> will yeah. you oh wow well, definitely so we'll see <laughs> we'll see <laughs> wow so it's no guarantee yeah. but baby yeah. i think let's enjoy some of your music up before we wrap up the show yeah you be my gene and tony you be the run for me that you are really my gin and tonic you know yeah <laughs> listen to that yeah yo so we we have to ask the guys you know our, our men to do that you have to be romantic you know tell you tell you you have to treat your flowers you know let them know they're special so it's basically that uh a lot of inspiration and i just put it on the record i don't know how it feels someone like said to me that i am their gin and tonic I think at that point, I'm even sending cows to your home. <laughs> like, for real. I think it's the most romantic thing, mm. <laughs> honestly. Mm. So, you know, I, I, we really uh, covered where you're going. And, you know, more than anything, what is your message to um, the young, um, you know, aspiring artist who is just trying to get into the industry, just trying to get that one opportunity? Mm. What can you say to them? Just stay true to yourself. Mm. Don't give up, mm. you know, because... They say consistency, you know, you have to be consistent, say true to yourself. There are so many, so many artists out there mm -hmm. that if you, the, the least focus that you, you take off your craft, you will get swallowed in, you know, the pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, just stay focused on your craft, build it to the 100 and nobody will, is going to take that from you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that is there.
absolutely today you, um all the best with everything much. and i hope to see all the collaborations you're speaking yeah. about i'm hoping to see that yeah. for you this year no, thank you and hopefully i'll see you again very soon when i come I'll have the pizzas for you. <laughs> <laughs> please do, yeah. please do. Okay. It is at eight fifty-three. We're about to wrap up the show. Let's enjoy some more music before we close it off and hand over to take over.